Let's see. Grab the camera. Come on. Hello, this is John O'Malley. Wait a minute. You guys see me? Probably not. Crap, where would I put this darn camera? Uh, I'm place in this bathroom to set it. Yep, I'm basically going to be vlogging from my bathroom. <coughs> That's right. Oh, my uh, Oh, man. Oh, crap. Uh, I guess I'll just put it right here so it doesn't, like, fall into the sink or something. Yep. Can I see me? Ah, oh, there's no freaking viewfinder. Either, either way, I'm just gonna put my head down like this. I'm gonna have my tea. Yeah, my channel's John fucking O'Malley, and yes, I just curse, and I'm sorry if any of my family's watching that. But yeah, I got a really bad cold. It's quite a nasty one. I'm gonna cough. I'm gonna cough lately. <coughs> Sorry if I'm talking too quiet. Camera's kind of far far away. Man, I'm like I'm like someone of my words, like some kind of a weirdo. Yeah. I've been running dangerously low on tea. I mean, like, dangerously freaking low. Yeah, usually I just drink your average, like, regular, like, black tea. But, of course... <coughs> uh, yeah, but, but, of course, I end up running out of that. But, but, but I've had a, but I, but I ran out of it, like, one time before. And, and I use, like, green tea as, like, my reserves. But it really didn't work out too well. Because, no, yeah, scratch that. Because this time, uh, <coughs> yeah, this time I, 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 I didn't buy any new green tea bags. Uh, I didn't like bring any new, I didn't buy any new green tea bags. So I haven't been able to have any reserves, but I've been bringing this herbal tea. But then I ran out of that, <coughs> yeah, and I found out there was like one like black tea bag that's like left, and I kind of forgot about it, so I took, so I took that on my last cup of tea. And then, then when pops, my grandpa said said to have some cookies with my tea. I'm like, oh, there's no tea left, so he's like, oh yeah, there should be some tea in my room. So I found a couple herbal tea bags. Please, no jokes about that. I don't really like first person shooters and like putting your ball sack in people's faces when they die. Yeah. It's not right, it makes it look like a noob. Yeah. Mm. Uh. A piece of cookie like fell in my sink. Yeah. Now, if you guys know what I'm wearing, the kind of coat. Yeah. I've had this coat for quite a while. But yeah. Ah. I forgot I have my teeth. Uh. Yeah, anyway. I, I recently got a new coat from Johnny Hernandez. But my friend, Dylan Harnish. He's a good kid. He's kind of annoying. Sometimes I like him. He just wouldn't get his hands, like, out of my lunch. So, so I was just eating my food, and I'm kind of a sloppy eater. So, so I was like dropping it down my sleeve. It got all nasty down there. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then when I got home, I, I got pops to wash it. But it like shrunk so bad in the dryer. It's like, whoa. I thought. Yeah. But I, I don't mind it shrinking in the dryer, but I just don't like the way it shrunk. Because, you, you've seen me, I'm pretty skinny. I'm very skinny, by the way. <coughs> but, yeah. <sighs> I'm a very skinny person. But, yeah. But I'm very tall. So, so, so when the thing shrunk, yeah, the length shrunk, not the width. 
so we end up like having a fat puffy coat that's like too that's like too short on me. I'm like, dude, I'm wearing this crap. But yeah, it really, really wasn't very good. So, so now I have that coat put away. I, I, I've been trying to like stretch it out for a while. Really hasn't worked. I, I ended up getting my friend Brett Ryman to like play t tug of war with the coat, try to like stretch it out and get it to like stretch out. It didn't really work. Yeah, I eat myself a cookie. I don't remember I'm recording. Wait, I'll do it. It's like five minutes already. Dude, you're freaking. Oh, crap, it like fell in the sink. That is why I do not like to move my camera. Let's just start recording. Yeah. Now, my name is John O'Malley, and I have this website called O'Malley's Dwarven Army. You probably not have heard of it. It's a Google site. It's not an actual website, so I probably won't be able to go to it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. In that thing, it said I was 22. Truth is, I'm not 22. I'm 38. Can you speak? I'm not, baby. You, you guys will probably like never know my age. Fucking pedophiles. But yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm like so sick. It's either it's either like a really bad cold or allergies. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, like I'm saying, my 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 coat is like too short on me. But a lot of my clothes are much too short of me. Most of my pants don't really fit me right. No, please, please don't take that. That, that didn't mean that to be sexual. Around like that area. Ugh, this is disgusting. Just get off that. He, he, he reminded me of the gutter. But yeah. Yeah, all my pants are like way too short. I only have one pair of pants that fits me. And I just got that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, right, right now I'm like wearing these pajama pants. Pajamas, pajamas, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I call them pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking some tea. My very favorite drink. I'm such a freaking bad withdrawal. Pops ended up giving me like a couple tea bags that were like stored in his room for who knows how long. I mean, does he spoil? Who knows? But yeah, let us get back to that. Yeah, the, the reason my pants don't fit me right is because I'm pretty poor. I'm pretty. I'm not like very, very poor. I'm not like on welfare or anything. We, we, we tend to look down on people on welfare. As a bunch of slobs who don't even want their freaking job. I need to get some tissues. Oh crap! But yeah, we're pretty poor. We only make about two hundred, three hundred, some dollars a month just to pay the bills. Yeah. You know, the thing is, none of us have jobs because I live with my grandparents. Not, not my parents. My parents, they're they're broke up. But yeah. Let me see. My grandparents, coffee. My grandma and pops. My grandpa. Well, well neither, neither of them have jobs because they have just have really bad backs. Coffee cleans the house and I'm thankful for that. Which makes her kind of grumpy all the time. <coughs> and Pops. Well, he used to have a job at like a warehouse. But he doesn't anymore. Because he hurts back and he like collects social security or secret service or whatever the heck it is. But yeah, and, and 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 don't think my family's dysfunctional because for now we love each other a lot. A fairly religious family, yeah. And just think, 
We barely have any money. We can't even buy me on pants. But I'm fine with that. I'm actually proud of being poor. Because there's just stereotypes. Usually rich people are kind of snobby. And I'm, I'm a fairly humble person. I don't really want to be snobby. That's not really something I'm interested in. Oh, and speaking of rich, snobby people, look at their models these days. Ugh, they're ugly as fire truck. I'm trying to keep them cursing. <coughs> How mother fire truck and skinny do you want these models to get? <coughs> Jeez, man. What are you trying to do? Kill them? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry. <coughs> Some nasty sounding cough, but yeah. Now, I'm only like 90 pounds. But if I were a model, they'd be, they'd be telling me to lose some weight. What, you have a bunch of fucking 40 pound grown women? It's like, really, dude? Yeah, what, what? Come on. Yeah, that, 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 that's so skinny, it's not even hot. It's like, really, dude? Are you fire trucking serious? Haha, <laughs> caught that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just ridiculous. <coughs> yeah, and I will tell you for one thing that 99.999999 infinite nines percent of models have some kind of messed up eating disorder. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yeah. Now, that's, like I said, that's, that's so skinny, it's not even hot. Yeah, now, now if you're 120 pounds, then that's hot, I'm telling you. You have a lot of really good looking 120 pound women. Yeah. But yeah. This model is just too skinny. Oh yeah, and they make up, they had a... They had to get like the most like fire truck and messed up makeup ever. I was watching America's Next Top Model one time when I was a kid. Yeah, uh, and there was this girl. She had like a black and blue like makeup on her face. It looks like somebody slapped her. <coughs> yeah. And yeah, the models were so skinny that then if I were to slap, they they go like flying like ten feet or twenty feet or a hundred because they're just like feathers. <coughs> I, I could probably throw their heads through a ceiling, and I, I can't even lift a fucking milk carton. <coughs> yeah, sorry. But yeah, models are just fucked up, you know? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and by the way, Speaking of women, yeah, a lot of my friends think I'm gay for some reason. I'm not gay. What? They, they, they think just because I don't have a crush on anybody at the moment that I'm gay? Are you guys mother fire trucking serious? <coughs> yeah. The thing is, the most of the girls in my school are kind of like skanky, so I wouldn't really want to date any of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and speaking of skanky women, look at those models. Like, what the, what the fire truck? They're just so fire fucking skinny. This is disgusting. Anorexics are not cute at all. <coughs> oh, and speaking of anorexics, I heard on Facebook that that my friend Zach. Zach Cannon, I call him Doggy for some reason. I heard he was anorexic. Funny part is I'm skinnier than him. People, well, anorexic means you don't eat, but yeah. Dude, I think you need to eat some food. Who cares? Who cares if you're fat? <coughs> yeah, if, no, scratch that, but yeah. Who, who cares if you're fat? You're all God's creations. Yeah. E e even if you have like nasty buck teeth and you spit when you talk and you're always like a beak. Yeah, he doesn't care. Unless you're 
scratch that. <laughs> I just got a bunch of stuff going through my head. I don't want to be racist or offensive, so we uh, 